All right. Welcome, everyone, to the One Championship podcast, Roger Sands Show. Uh, I'm excited to be doing this, just trying something new out. And we're just going to talk about the MMA fights in one um, for 1169. And, and I'll give you kind of some fight breakdowns and my predictions for who's going to win. Pretty simple stuff. And I don't know if. Uh, I think we'll do another one that's just focused on the Muay Thai fights in one one six nine. But this is a this is a MMA card for sure. Even though it's being done um, at Lumpini in Bangkok, it was originally supposed to be in Atlanta, uh, and it, it it's not anymore. They they switched that up maybe like thirty to forty five days before the event. Primary reason why they went from having the event in Atlanta to having it in Bangkok was that Joe Nottawat and Talon Chai were supposed to fight on this card. But two things happened that kind of prevented that and stopped it. One was uh, Talon Chai, I think, was like injured or just not ready to, to fight. But the main thing that happened was that Joe Nottawat lost uh, to Superbon at one Friday fights uh, 81. And he lost pretty decisively. He was knocked out. I, I believe it was in round one um, with a with an elbow or something like that. So they couldn't have Joe Nottawat fighting Talon Chai for a for a title fight. Instead, it's got to be, of course, Superbon versus Talon Chai. So it seemed like the whole event in Atlanta was kind of based around Joe Nottawat fighting since he's he lives in Atlanta. I think he's lived there for like 10 years now. Um, but yeah, so it, it, it switched back to Lumpini in, in Bangkok, which I believe means that it's going to be in, in the Muay Thai ring rather than an octagon cage fight, which is kind of disappointing because I think the MMA fights are much better in the octagon, but oh well. So let's, let's just get into the, uh, the fights, the MMA ones. And the first one that is on the card is uh, kind of exciting. We've got Cade Rotolo doing his second MMA fight again against Ahmed Muchtaba. Um, and if you remember, Cade's first MMA fight was against Blake Cooper, and he won in round one with a submission. I predicted that one pretty accurately, and it was basically just that Cade would, you know, attempt some striking. Attempt some, you know, kicks, punches, uh, but ultimately his strengths are grappling and on the ground, and that's where he took it, and that's where uh, he got the victory against uh, Blake Cooper. It was, you know, I'm not going to say it was a disappointing fight, but it was pretty obvious that Cade would win this. He's, you know, one of the best grapplers in the world, and why wouldn't he just take it to the ground? Um, so how is he going to do against the man from Pakistan, Ahmed Muchtaba, who has had a decent career in one, um, he's, he's four and four, uh, recently he's lost to Halil Amir. He was knocked out and submitted in 39 seconds against, uh, Sage Northcutt when Sage Northcutt, uh, made his debut. Or not his debut, his return after after being injured for so long. So what do what do we like about Muchtaba? Because he's probably lesser known. Um, he actually has some good submissions. Uh, he is pretty dangerous on the ground when he was fighting Halil Amir. He he definitely threatened him with some ground game. But overall, I, I just think there's no way he can out out grapple Cade. Uh, I think Cade's much younger too, so he has better cardio. Probably has a better, um, maybe a better fight IQ. You know, uh, I think Cade's going to have a good game plan. Um, you know, ad adaptability. I think they're both composed fighters, but Cade, I think, is just you know he's going to He's going to want to take this to the ground. And that's how he's going to get the victory. So I'm predicting him to win. No big surprise there. Uh, next. All right. This one is actually, out of all the fights, 
this is probably number two that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, yeah. Adriano Marias versus Danny Kinghead. Marias of Brazil, Kinghead of the Philippines. So a little biased, of course, towards Kinghead. But, all right, striking. Who's Who's got it there? Um, I'd say they're actually pretty even. Adriano Marias is a very good striker. So is Kinghead. Um, grappling, again, I'd say pretty even there as well. Cardio, uh, Marias is older. He's like 36 years old, maybe going on 37. King Ed is, let me see, how old is Danny King Ed? Because I know he's not as not as in his 30s. I think he's 29. Yeah, one, they're saying he's 29. Um, and Marias, one is saying he's 36. Slight height advantage, 5'7", or actually decent height advantage, 5'7", versus 5'4". Okay. Um, fight IQ, they're both very smart fighters. Um, King Ed, if we look at his opponents who he's lost to in one, he has lost to Marias before, but that was back in 2017. So to me, that's just, okay, whatever. Who cares? Um, but King, has, King Ed's lost to Demetrius Johnson. He's lost to Kairat Akhmatov and Yuyo Wakamatsu. So all top-ranked guys in that um, division. Adriana Marias has <clears throat> lost to Demetrius Johnson twice, but of course beaten Demetrius Johnson. Um, he's beaten Yuya Wakamatsu, but he's lost to Kyra Akhmatov as well. Again, but that was a long time ago, um, back in 2015. So who do I want to give this to? Oh, in fight IQ and strength, you know, I think these guys are both similar. So this is like such a close fight. I think it's one of those ones where they're just going to be feeling each other out for like the first round, second round, maybe see some action. Maybe someone goes for a takedown. Third round is where someone's going to get make a mistake, or another person's just going to, you know, get land a good strike, get a good takedown, and that's where we'll see the win happen in the third round. I don't think it's going to be decided in round one or two, conventionally speaking. So, who do I think is going to win? It's to me, it's a it's a coin toss, but I'm going to give it to the younger fighter, Danny Kinghead, just because Adriano is getting up there in age. And although he's super fit, he looks like he's early 20s. Um, I think that's the the advantage that will decide this fight is the age difference. Uh, next fight. All right. Return of Buchecha. And Amir Ali Akbari. Both of these guys are very interesting fighters, and one doesn't have too many people at their weight class like actively fighting in the heavyweight division. So, who could who could win in this one? Strength. Um, I'm I'm going to give this to Amir Ali Akbari. He is, uh, you know, he's just a beast, built differently, kind of beast. Um, Grappling, obviously, no question about it. I give that advantage to Buchecha. Um, so many jujitsu wins, like so many. Uh, whereas Amir Ali Akbar is more of a wrestler, um, but he, he wins by sh some of his powerful strikes too. So um, cardio, you know, <laughs> heavyweights are heavyweights, right? They, they lose gas, uh, but... I'd probably give it to Buchecha just because I've seen Ali Akbari when he's fought um, in the past, like Anatoly Malikin, just kind of lose steam. He lost to uh, Kong G1, kind of, you know, he gets hit, lot, loses steam. But he's coming back. He's he's really improved since those losses, and he's got four wins in a row. So he's a dangerous dude. Fight IQ, I'm going to give it to Buchecha. I think he's kind of a guy who maintains his game plan throughout the match. So he's their strength. I mean, we're not going to have a bench pressing competition between the two, but uh, it's, it's probably fairly even, although Akbari is just he's a beast. Um, so who's going to win? <clears throat> I would say probably Buchecha. 
because I think he knows how to take Amir to the ground, and I think he can get um, enough ground control to win by unanimous decision, possibly even submit Akbari. So I think it's going to be Buchecha. Next fight. This is the one I'm, number one, most excited about. You guys thought I was going to say Malikin versus Rugrug was my most exciting one. No, this one, Return of Christian Lee against some dude, um, not not some dude, Alibeg Rasulov, who in his debut beat um, Ok Rayun. I believe uh, Rasulov, yeah, he's undefeated. Uh, I believe he's undefeated. Let me just check that out real quick. I don't want to get that wrong. Go to Sherdog. Yeah, 15 and 0 undefeated. Um <laughs> and of course, he's, you know, coming out of that region where the fighters are just so tough. They're just grappler extraordinaires, wrestler extraordinaires. So grappling I give it to him. Striking too. I mean, he's he threw um, very powerful punches um, against Ok Rayun. Christian Lee, I haven't seen in a while because he one was his last fight. Christian Lee's last fight was 2022. But look at Christian Lee's record. Knockout, knockout, knockout. TKO, T, or I guess TKO, 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 TKO. Holy submission. Submission, TKO, TKO, submission. He's 17 and 4 and 1. So, yeah, this guy is <laughs> striking just for all the knockouts. I give it to Christian Grappling. I am going to give it to Rasulov. Cardio, I am going to give it to Rasulov as well. Like, he looked great in his, his one debut. No question about that. Fight IQ. I'll give it to Christian just because of the experience he has. Strength. I'm going to give it to Rasulov being the the younger man. Um, and then for other, like experience, mental toughness. Experience, I'd give it to Christian, but mental toughness. Like these guys from, from the regions like Dagestan, Turkey, uh, Chechnya, whatever, Russia, they're, they're Kazakhstan. These guys just fight differently, and they're not afraid at all, at all. So probably probably say they're they're even in terms of um, mental toughness. And then recent performance, you know, Christian Lee doesn't have a recent performance. Rasulov does. <sighs> this one's hard to call um, because you've got someone who's so good like Christian Lee but hasn't fought in two years. And then you've got someone like Rasulov who's undefeated. Um, but has he fought a two division champion like Lee for? No, I don't think he's fought someone of that caliber. <sighs> I don't really know. It may seem obvious to some people, but I don't know. You got to let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. And if I'm being stupid by not picking Lee, but um, screw it. I'm going to go for uh, Rasulov. You know, why not? Unanimous decision, Rasulov. We'll see. Uh, and if I get that one wrong, that's fine because I know I'm going to get this one right. Anatoly Malikin versus Rugrug Umar Khan. I think this is a still an interesting fight, even though Malikin's so good. Even though he's just, you know, in all all these categories, I give it all to Malkin. Um, I still think it's interesting because Rugrug is is undefeated. Oh, he's not undefeated. He lost one match, um, but he's he's a big dude, very big dude. Can throw heavy strikes. Is he more challenging to Malkin than Deritter? Um, possibly. You know, the way Deritter looked in those two fights was not good. In De Ritter's two losses to Malkin, he he did not look good in either one. Rogue Rogue has has beaten another guy on this card. He's beaten Buchecha. Uh, so I think this is still a good fight. It's still an exciting one. I give it to Malkin, of course. If he loses, it's 
you know, one of the biggest upsets ever in one, if not the biggest, but still should be an entertaining fight. But Malkin, I just, I would emphasize his cardio and striking in here. Maybe Rug Rug stronger, you know, just being a, a bigger dude, but in all other categories, it's it's Malkin. So, so just to recap, <clears throat> we've got Cade Rotolo taking the victory, Danny Kinghead, uh, Alibeg Rasulov, Marcus Buchecha, and Anatoly Malkin. I mean, I think the first, well, Cade, the, the ones on the end, Cade and Malkin are definitely a lock. Kinghead, Christian Lee, or sorry, Kinghead and Rasulov, those are going to be closer. Not as much confidence there, like wouldn't, wouldn't put money on it. Uh, and Buchecha versus Ak- Ali Akbari, yeah, I think it's like probably a, a 60-40, 65-35 in favor of Buchecha. So those are the picks. Um, thanks, guys, for, for watching. Let me know what you thought. Um, and we'll do uh, another one of these for the Muay Thai. And we'll, we'll also do a recap to see, you know, how, how, how wrong or right I was on here. Uh, so... Uh, definitely leave, leave me a comment below. Let me know your predictions. Um, also, uh, hit the like button. Would appreciate that. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So see you.